Hey there, I'm Lobs. I'm Fenwa. I'm Demo Weasel. And uh, we're here pre-recorded this time. Oh yeah. We're doing pre-recorded footage, I should say, because the editing of the first video was a total disaster. Hey, ugly ape guy. <laughs> now that we've exchanged pleasantries, can we fight? I heard it sucks live. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Oh, uh, thank you for referencing your and my favorite No Effects album. Whoa. What is with Spyro's eyes there? So long and thanks for all the sparks. Uh, that's totally a band that I like. Um, I think that's my, gonna be my autobiography. Alright, so what you're seeing here is, of course, the, uh, the dragon time that we got in the first video. I'm, I'm still getting my footage because I like, or my footing, because I, I, like, in between the recording of the last video and the recording of this one, I played through and beat not only this game, but also Dawn of the Dragon, and I recorded the footage of both of them and edited every single video in this game that you will see from here on. Did you edit the two games together to make something that isn't boring? Oh, snap. <sighs> I don't think that's possible. Sorry. Oh yes, it's seamless. No, I'm kidding. I made the remaining footage uh, somewhat less boring by removing some of my deaths and also, like later on, I do some speed up segments. Like currently, the dragon time, the the slow motion effects. You mean the entire game? <laughs> yes. They're in here uh, as presented in the original game, just to give players, or to give the audience, I should say, the impression of exactly how this sort of thing works. But eventually I'll speed it up to the point where, like, it, you see it the way the enemies perceive it. So right now we're seeing it from Neo's view, but later on we'll see it from... Um, from Tank's view. Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, uh, Matrix is still relevant, right? Yes, definitely. Oh, extremely. Even even now. Yeah, that's right. All those new Matrix games and movies, the TV series. Yeah, yeah don't forget. Um, was that the newest Matrix game they released? It was a Cube uh, or something. Yes. Uh, Q U B E. Matrix Cube. It's, uh, the Matrix tie-in. Oh, yeah. That's no, that's the really shitty Nissan car. <laughs> Ooh. Take that, Nissan. We need your cars here. Uh, so, uh, there, there are a number of things I speed up in some sequence videos also, uh, such as these segments right here. Like, you notice the, the little, like, pauses and how Spyro's attacks slow down, even in comparison to normal gameplay. I fast forward through those. I'm sorry, can you can you go back to that one word? Uh, in, in what videos? In subsequent videos. S subsequent? Lay off, dude! I don't know how to pronounce nothing. Subsequent. subsequent. Executable. Metal Gear Solid 4 subsequent. Uh, derives from the sequence. Come on. Oh! What a wonderful coincidence. It, oh no, is this a puzzle? Actually, I think calling this a puzzle would be giving it too much credit. This game is chock full of quote unquote. So, what do you, what like do they this. call the genre of this? Is this an mm. action platformer? It's a character action game. Shitty game. So far, Peace Walker has more uh, action and platforming than this. Has more character, I'll say, I'll say that much. Has more game. Hey, man, who knows? Maybe these two can, uh, mm. Spyro and Snake, can fight each other in Super Sony Smash Brothers or whatever. Yeah, but then Snake would be voiced by David Spade. Spyro is a universal property, always has been. Ah, uh, no, he could be David Spade. Spader. Oh man. That's right. What is that? Why do you gotta do this three times? Also, in between the recording of the last video and this one, I completed my Skylander set. I have no idea whether or not I'll be let's playing that game. Hopefully, so I can get some return on this investment. But I, I saw them like put the Sparks toy on the Portal of Power. I'm hoping that Jay Moore voices in that time. Oh no. Wait, Jay Moore voiced Sparks? <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you know you know what to do with the Skylanders now that you have them all, right? I I don't have all the Skylanders, come on. I just have the adventure packs. But yes, what, what were you gonna say? Oh, eat them. Oh, eat the Skylanders. Yeah, yeah get <laughs> gain their power. 
this is uh, like one of the, the genres of puzzles that the game likes to throw at you where something goes super fast and you have to use dragon time in order to compensate for the immense speed. Just like in Dead Space 2. So basically this game has a mechanic where it artificially takes longer to beat. Yeah, but again, I speed up the dragon time segments in some later video at some point. In, in videos, that, videos that appear after this video in time. At least one video. Yeah, you're gonna have to suffer. Watch some slow dragon. Hey, everything about this game is slow dragon. <laughs> oh, what a twist! Coming. The barrage of enemies that came across that I would have otherwise had to fight, they ended up dying that time. Thank God. Nope, they're back. Oh no. Okay. How many times does, do we get a cutscene like that? This, did they learn their lesson in the last game? Absolutely not. Oh. This, like, I, I'd like to actually rescind <laughs> a couple of things from the first video. Or at least one thing, I should say. Mm. Where I said that this game is part of the part of the uh, video game sequel syndrome, where they have the engine set in place and they can use the resources for more art assets. I would like to completely take that back because, like some of the some of the later art assets in this game, yeah. I can't wait for you to see them because they are just awful. <laughs> Good lord. How bad do they get? Compare it to something. Uh, there's there's this one area that appears in a full motion video, actually, that is the color clashiest thing that I've seen in any video game. Like blue orange or what? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you. Just so you'll be able to recognize when you see it. Blue orange doesn't color clash, dumbass. Red green. Red green. That's Christmas, dude. Yellow purple. Yellow. Uh, you, you're comp. You're complementary colors, dude. They don't clash. They complement each other. Okay, so yeah, let's continue to harass the one of us who isn't an artist. Frankie, what would you know about being complimented? Um... Fenwa knows dick suck. Yeah, I'm cutting that out. Fenwa does know dick suck. What? No, you can't. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and I'm not cutting it out. You're not in control of this anymore. I won't cut out the truth. And you never were. Well, what the hell was going on there? Oh. Can I can I just take all like the Frankie commentary that I leave on my cutting room floor and give it to you? Sure. No. All right. I'll I'll replace you with him. <laughs> <laughs> They're cheating. You can't have Marrow twice in your name. Oh God! Some of the some of the names in this also. <laughs> the wood Marrow Shrub Marrow. <laughs> it's it's so great that you can actually see the names now. As opposed now to, that we're not uh, recording off of your webcam. Yeah, that's uh, that's right. Definitely gonna be a benefit of being uh, like in the same region of you e eventually. So so we could actually do stuff in real time without having to work around webcams and cables and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know if I would want to experience this game in real time. Oh, don't worry. Uh, like this, you're safe from this game. Relatively speaking. I mean, I could you know I can hit the fast forward button on my end and just pretend that I'm continuing to comment in real time. Oh look, uh, that enemy is bullshit. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at those water effects. Yeah, this water effect appears in some strange places. You'll see them in later videos, of course. Uh, Chrome Studios would later replicate the same effect in Hydrophobia. <laughs> yeah, but Hydrophobia, at least the original version, comes across. Why are you in Dragon Time right now? Uh, well, I don't know, because I... I felt like doing it in a badass way. <laughs> Slow motion makes everything better. I don't know if you know this. Not this game. Ah. So here's this guy, Snail Rider. Sluggy Freelance. So is that his name? Nah. Is it like Ghost Rider? Is his is character played by Nicolas Cage in the film adaptation? To complement the addition of slow motion, they developed a snail rider as a thematic complement. So they had to come up with an enemy that's slower than you. Actually, this... Yes. Ah. Uh, you remember, like, when we first attempted to record this live, and I kept dying to this guy. Like, I, I don't know if you remember this. Out of my entire swath of attempts to record this game, uh -huh. I ended up dying to that guy several times, and it was terrible. I don't remember this. Yeah, well. You did experience it. 
Uh, though it was probably oh, very. Oh no, I, I must have blocked it out of my memory. <laughs> it was very blurry at the time. Now, also, oh. as a change from last video, I'd like to say, like, I, I don't want to spend my time completely shitting on this game because it comes across to me, like having played through it and edited it, that clearly there were at least one or two people at Chrome Studios who really put their heart and soul into doing this sort of thing. But who were they? Name them. I wouldn't be able to tell you. Like, there, there are some, <laughs> there are some art assets and character models that aren't half bad. Uh, none of the games crashed on me once, and I think Elijah Wood's role in all three games, um, I, I, I'd say I'd have no complaints with him as the main character. The impression that I'm getting is that you don't want us to talk shit about this game because there's nothing new to say, because it's the same fucking game. Oh my gosh. We can talk shit about how it's the same shit. Yes, exactly. But I already, we already made all these jokes. Um, we can make new ones. We made these jokes in the game, we go, oh look. Collect all of those crystals. Man, there sure are a lot of enemies. Look at these pre... not pre-rendered, but scripted cutscenes. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know about you, but I got more creativity than that. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Like, um, yeah, those vines just ate shit. Uh. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of glowy shit this time around. That door is not big enough for a dragon to fit through. Oh yeah, let's get Ignitus and find out. Well, well of course it's like, it's glowy, because almost all of this game takes place at night. And the subtitle, The Eternal Night, it turns out is in reference to an event that Spyro was trying to prevent in this game. Oh. So, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Oh, what God, the hell was that it. animation on Sparks? Go <laughs> go back and look at that animation. Let's rewind. Uh, they really get their mileage. Uh, like, out, out of the... Uh, Spyro enters a new room, then enemies come in, and uh, Spyro turns to Sparks and opens his mouth. You'll see that constantly. But, like, Sparks was doing, like, this terrible swimming through the air animation. I'll make an animated hey. death. Hey, <laughs> did you notice that right now? Like, why is that... The impact point from the hammer, like, showing up two feet away from the actual hammer strike. Like, look what. Just watch. Keep an eye out for him. If, if he does it again, if he doesn't die before he does it again. Uh, uh, yeah, this enemy does the action game thing of pivoting just enough to meet you whenever you're... Uh, like, y you can see him doing that right there. Pivoting? Yeah. Oh, you missed it. You can't even see that one. Pivoting left and right. Oh, you'll see that. You'll see plenty of that throughout this game. Nice job, Spike Rammer. Oh, my God. All right, Sam. Curse Twister. I think Spike Rammer is the last name in this game. Oh, no. Can, can Spyro be hurt by fire? Uh, yes. Just not this fire. I don't think he can be hurt by any fire that comes out of his mouth. Like but uh, dragon. There are plenty of instances where the elements that he breathes, when they are breathed at him or applied to him in some way, uh -huh. and when they are used as barriers, let's say. It was used as berries. Yes, used as berries. Fire berries. They're delicious. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the gems still do all the same shit? Uh, these gems, like, I don't know if you remember the last video because it's been so long, but the nope. the blue ones give you experience points, red gives you health, and green gives you magic. Wreck power. Okay, wait, now I remember. That seems backwards. Green should be experience, red should be health, and blue should be mana. Yeah. Uh, yes. No, red should be experience. Green should be sanity? Yes. Yes, recharge your sanity meter with sanity gems. Oh, too late for that. That's, that's a recurring theme in our Let's Plays, uh, Eternal Darkness. Hey, sort of like the Eternal Night. Oh. Uh, so here's a segment that was also in the first game. Press booba. Where you press booba and then hold ah. Uh. Tail strike. And it even goes to slow motion immediately after, just like in the first game. Havoc physics. What the hell? Suddenly. Yeah, like, look at that. That's a dick move. Yeah, there, there are a couple of dick moves like that. The Grand Trunk. Briar heel. Like for the most part, the game is 
pretty good about that sort of thing. Uh, at least they came up with a bunch of dumbass new names. They modified their random name generator. I, I, I refuse to believe that someone sat down and came up with all these. I don't know, maybe that's one of the two people that Lob says put their heart into it. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so somewhere somewhere in Chrome Studios, there's this complicated family tree of everyone in the game. Well, somewhere there was. Uh, push pins, push pins tacked to portraits with, like, strings of yarn connecting them. No, dude, it's no whiteboard. Finally, I get to find Vinefoot Willow Thicket. But all centers around this one portrait that's just three question marks and a silhouette. But yeah, it's like... <laughs> that sparks. Oh, okay, so here's, <laughs> here's one of the bullshit parts of this game. I can't remember if this was in the first game at all, but... Here there are um, spiders. Oh, yeah, there actually were spiders in the first game. But basically, what you have to do in order to, to defeat them is once their life bar is depleted, you have to stomp on them in order to, like, squish them. Otherwise, they'll just come back with 20% health or something like that. You know what I think? What? I, I, th I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember, like, stuff in the first game okay. that would freeze you like that. And... That seems like, in this kind of game, to be the most annoying shit in the world. Oh, certainly. There's tons of stuff here that just makes you angry. A song of ice and spiders. <laughs> Are these ice spiders? Yeah, there's... You're going to be fighting a lot of ice everything for the next, uh, let's say, hour of the game. So, shit that slows you down, the game. And use your slow things down mechanic to defeat the enemies before they slow you down. It's the perfect plan. Slow. <laughs> There should be an enemy that just stops the game dead in its tracks for about a minute. Uh, that, that. Oh, that's called <laughs> the controls. You see I was hurt by that? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, you were hurt by the wall. Yes. That's right. Take that brown holly wood bone. You got CQC'd seed by the spider? Yes. I just got wood boned. All right, you've knocked him out cold. Now just folding him back to base. Yeah, in the final showdown, the spider has a gun to your head, and you have to press, uh, pull the trigger. Ah, the filling on health and mana. Mm. This game's dumb. The spider had an inventory. Keep things in wing pockets. He doesn't have any pockets. Uh. uh he can stuff it in an orifice, probably his mouth. Okay. I, I refuse to believe that he has any other orifices aside from his mouth or nostrils. Oh yeah, look, his, his head is like, it's like trunk of a, like, you know, like one of those chests where you like lift back and... Toadweed is a very unfortunate name for anybody. Toadweed? Well, this is, this is just the uh, name of the species. It was in the, the very first area of the first game. What, are they not good enough for names? Oh, you just Whoa, got something yeah, out I just, of that. I just did. Like later, in later videos Joke I cut. have a deliberate transition. Ah, cameras. All right. So, um, there's also, uh, I still think the worst name, what is that? Uh, it's a health power-up. Oh, I didn't know that these existed. Enhances, yeah, yes, this game has, this game is collectibles. There are five health relics and five magic relics, and I think I end up collecting four and three, respectively. Did you cut again? No. Oh, oh wait, yes, I did. I'm to think of it. Like, there was this terrible, um... This was a video... This was the video that we recorded live at one point, right? Yeah. I remember you eating shit a lot on that platform a bit there. Yeah. Yeah. I ended up dying and then spawning back at the part where the health pickup was. You know, this game could be a lot worse. How so? It could have lives. Oh, yes. Well, thankfully, this game came out after a point when lives uh, became irrelevant. Hmm. Okay. How many oh. lives did you live? All right. Ah. What was that? Like burrowing groundhogs? There we go. Whoa. Uh. Ah, that's a transition. Ah. Look forward to plenty of those because they're some collectibles that I'm just not bothered to get. What other camera's just broken? Here comes another Chinese earthquake. Yeah, yeah, burp, 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 burp. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the camera just turns into pixels in this game. Whoops. God, what is this fucking spiders? Why are there so many? It just so happens that the Dragon Temple exists at a place that that, that is very treacherous. 
where a lot of human-sized spiders exist. There are no humans in this. Or are there? No. Oh. Uh, humanoid creature sized, whatever. Oh, hey. That's like a rejected Pokemon. Oh. What? Whoa, ah, somebody. That's the end of the video. Hey. Um. Check us out in part three. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Fump.